What up, guys? It's us, the two guys that everyone loves so much in Paneloid's podcast specifically. Always talking about how Kyle and Dimitri are the best in the whole oh, crew. See. And You're backpedaling now. We're back. Pierre and Kyle, and we're carrying just a little bit more debt today. Oh, don't. God damn it. I forgot already. Well, yeah, so Paneloid's podcast. So you've been going to the shop for me. It's not that I don't like the comic shop, Main Street Comics, the best comic shop in Jersey. It's not that I don't like them. I'm just lazy as shit. So you pick up my books for me. Apparently you haven't done that in like two months, which I didn't know because I'm also kind of oblivious. So when you texted me like, hey, like there's a lot, you want me to get them? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, no, like there's a lot, a lot. I didn't know it was $350 worth of books. Like I'm literally in the process of writing an email apologizing. Like the draft is open because that is a lot of books to sit in the shop for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I'm an asshole. That's the moral of the story. I'm going to make some kind of TikTok of them. It's probably going to be 10 parts because the stack is literally a foot tall. Yeah. It's like a cinder block of books. So to put it in perspective, I purchased three books today. <laughs> And okay. I was like, ah, oh, man, does this meet the minimum on a card? He's like, if you really want to meet the minimum, you could pick up Kyle's books. And I was like, oh, how many does he have? He's like, he has a lot. It's kind of getting out of control. I was like, no. He's like, yeah. I was like, I mean, yeah, screw it. I'll pick his up. And he grabbed one stack. And then he went to like the back room, grabbed a whole nother stack. And then he's like, oh, I haven't grabbed the ones from this week. And then it was a whole nother stack. And then he rang it up. That's why I was like, let me just check with him before I ring this up. Because I don't know if he's ready necessarily to spend $300 in one shot. So, I mean, yeah. look, I don't know how to defend myself. So let's just move on. I'm assuming it's mostly variants for Poison Ivy and Grim. Like, I think that's what bulked. I definitely saw a few of those. Definitely okay. saw a few as he was flashing. But I'm not through. reading that much yeah. right now. So I wasn't paying attention, like, really as he was ringing it, because I just wasn't expecting it to be that crazy. And then when he said the total, I was like, wait, 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 how much? Was there other uh, people in the store? There were, there were, but no one paid attention. But me and Jenny were like, embarrassed. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. Great. So now your fiancé knows that I'm not only an asshole, but have a spending problem. No, no. She actually defended you, said, you know, you're collecting these, you know, whereas I'm just buying random ones that aren't worth anything. I was like, I didn't want to say it, but you know, you, you never know. You never know. Okay. Never know. Never know. So um, yeah. What's on the agenda for today? We got a trailer and then we got another trailer and then we got a slightly different teaser trailer. So we'll talk about some MCU stuff and then we'll do some DCU stuff. And you're like, mm, wait a second, DCU. Hmm. I thought it was DCEU. Mm -mm, DCU. We'll get there. Probably rather quickly, if I'm being honest. So first of all, we'll go most exciting to nothing much new but worth noting. Ant-Man. Yes. I'm so yeah. glad you put that as most exciting because it definitely is. Now, is Kang going to be a one and done villain? Absolutely fucking not. Nope. I don't even think this movie's going to have an ending. The way they've been hyping him up as like the next Thanos, that trailer 100% confirmed that. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I don't know. I'm just excited to see where they go with this. I guess this being the start of Kang. The vibe of the movie itself seems not like a comedy. And I don't want to say I don't like MCU comedy, but my overall preference is when there's a few jokes and then it gets darker. Those are just my favorites out of all of them. Yeah, I'm ready to see some people die. I think this is definitely going to be a little darker twist on Ant-Man, but you're definitely going to get some comedy. So what was interesting and what I was waiting for, really, I guess it's a different trailer than what they showed Comic-Con. It has to be. It is, because there were quotes that Kang said mm -hmm. in the Comic-Con one that weren't shown in this trailer, which kind of sucks. Like, I wanted to see what that one was. Specifically, and what I was waiting for was MODOK. I was surprised mm. to not see any MODOK, but I'm assuming they're holding on to that card for a little bit. Or it's a Sonic the Hedgehog situation. I'm thinking and the same thing. Just to elaborate, just in case anyone doesn't get that instantly, they released some MODOK, I guess, concept art, and it didn't go over very well. It's more robotic, and therefore, I think they are holding it back for the fact that they might be changing it up quite a bit, cutting it entirely, or who knows, reshoots. We don't know the extent of the character in the film assumed it was a small role but i do think that's part of it or maybe i'm completely wrong and it's going to be like a little bit of a you know surprise the same way we knew all the spider-man was showing up but they didn't give it to us it might be something like that i was gonna say i think the issues that they were having with cgi and i think they may have teased a modok in the trailer to comic-con and just an easy way to finish the cgi was to give yeah. him a robotic face than to give him a human distorted oh, face i mean there's a lot of rumors and this is not new news by any means but they've been overworking their workforce for cgi yeah and the deadlines are nuts so you see quality 
but it's questionable at times just simply off the fact of time. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, other than that, I think all the rumors, leaks, everything that we heard about this movie is going to be true. It's just a matter of actually seeing it now. I did see a new rumor that oh. we're going to get Ant-Man variants now. Uh-oh. All right, all right. My first speculation right there is, you ever see this Saturday Night Live clip? I can't nope. remember the comedian's name, but I really believe if that rumor is true that they're going to do variants, that costume will somehow be in the you know, mm. distance or something, in addition to just other Ant-Man costumes, a more classic one, and Hank Pym had a more authentic, and then maybe even that will hint to the Ant-Man to come after. One of them turns into, like, Black Ant, he's a real prick and a villain, and I don't know if they'll ever go into all that, but I don't think we're just gonna have Kang. I do think they'll open doors for Ant-Man, just amongst the MCU, just setting up, not necessarily variants of Scott Lang, but variants of people who use the name Ant-Man. That's a really good rumor. I don't know how true it is. It might just be based off of the comic book run that's happening right now, where that's basically happening, where future Ant-Man went to go get the old Ant-Man, and they went yeah. to go grab the other Ant-Man. A second rumor. I normally bring rumors to the table. Basically, the same way Ant-Man can shrink down to the microverse, or whatever we're calling it, he can also get very big. And there's a big verse. And the big verse basically is where, like, all the gods hang out, like the celestial. Mm. And maybe that's how he'll defeat Kang. He has to go so big that he's in a whole nother plane of existence in the sense that he can basically stop him somehow. That's a far-fetched one, but I thought it sounded cool. I don't know if he's going to stop Kang or not. He'll get in the way of Kang. Yeah, he'll slow him but, down. I 100% yeah. think there will not be an ending. Someone's going to die, probably one of the Pims, and he sacrificed himself just to slow down Kang, and it's going to be a well, we better make it worth it that he gave us an extra hour here before things really go to hell. And yeah. that'll just pace into, you know, the Kang Dynasty kind of movies. I know they delayed Secret Wars. I'm not really sure how that's falling anymore. When is it supposed to come out, Ant-Man? Alexa, when does Ant-Man 3 release? Friday, February 17th, 2023. I mean, that's not too far away, though, realistically. No, but we have time for yeah. another trailer. Yeah, we got Wakanda Forever coming next month. Yes, that was a teaser that was then teased again just the other day. And they didn't really add much scenes, but you hear more of Namor talking. And he's kind of, you know, thinking about, are the Wakandans evil? Are they not? Should he fight them anyway? Kind of vibe. Did we hear his name yet? No, we have not heard his name. I'm very excited to see where we go with the name. I think it's going to piss a lot of people off. It is. And let's be honest, whatever it is, it's going to be better. Because the Aztec kind of theme that they put into him brings that character up a whole nother level. Now, I personally don't like the character. I could care less. But that extra additive makes him interesting to me. He's badass. The background that they gave him with the whole Aztec warrior and yeah. the necklace, like all the royal garb that they have mm -hmm. him wearing. Yeah, no, it's working. 100% it's working. Yeah. They did show in the teaser two Black Panther helmets resting on a table. Mm -hmm. And what looks like Shuri grabbing one. Not 100% sure where that's going. It's Shuri, Actually, right? We know this or, at this point. Oh, yeah, definitely from the action figures. But my other thing with the helmet is T'Challa versus Killmonger. And she's deciding which helmet to grab. Because as we know, Killmonger is supposed to reprise this role. 99% chance it's going to be in the spirit world. If it is in the spirit world... Maybe she'll be leaning more towards his style. I think it's a mix. I think Killmonger has been influenced by T'Challa's sacrifice, you know, and their conversation before he actually died. We know so much. We know it's her. We know this. We know that. Like, I'm still unsure of everything untold. Like, there's still so much potential of Doom being behind everything and other characters That's, showing up. I've heard the rumors were that Doom was supposed to show up at the end. And mm -hmm. this whole reason they're fighting he caused this war doom started this war and you're just gonna see him in the background giancarlo Pizzito was supposed to be rumored to be casted as dr doom did it happen like is that what we're gonna see that's right. the only thing that i really want to get out of this where yeah. is doom who is he and what's the future hold for him the other thing you saw adam driver is rumored to be some marvel villain i can see him as doom I can really see him as Dr. Doom. See, his tall, lanky ass is Mr. Fantastic. Nah, he's destined to be an evil dude. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree with that. I can see him as Doom, and I can see Giancarlo Esposito as Charles Xavier. Yeah. That is the perfect world. Well, isn't that who he said in an interview? He would want to be, which I think it was to like throw us off a little bit because the rumors mm -hmm. were that he was Dr. Doom, and right, right. I don't know. 
I don't know where it's going. I'm excited just to see where that goes. And then just everything that Wakanda Forever is going to give us. We have Ironheart coming out, mm-hmm. which her armor looks a lot cooler from the teasers than it did from that one oh. action figure you sent me. That um, action figure was like two colors. It was horrible. It was a cheap action figure, so we yeah. can both agree on that now that yeah. her costume is definitely going to look a lot better. You know, those two movies are really going to like hype us up for the new phase of Marvel because we have all the seeds, but those two are going to push it further. I think Black Panther is going to push the setting of the world while mm-hmm. Ant-Man is going to push the setting of the villain to come. And then yeah. obviously it's like, oh, here's the new atmosphere. Now here's the new threat. And then you push them together because they have to kind of reestablish that because I don't think they did a great job after the dusting. You know, yeah. they didn't really show the world enough of what it went through during half the population missing. And they kind of skipped over it. I think these two movies can separately set up both of those things and kind of merge it back and give us a, not a fresh start, but like an established start to really get the new phase going. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're going to get almost like a union of a new team started mm-hmm. here. Captain America, New World Order, that cast is pretty stacked. I'm not going to read through it, but there's a lot of big names. Isaiah Bradley, I don't know if it's going to be like flashbacks or him mentoring his grandson. I think it's a little of both, but I think it's going to be more so you can tell that this kid has a little bit of power. I don't think you're going to get necessarily him, but you're definitely going to get like a little tease like, oh shit, he's a little stronger than like we think. And then maybe we'll like go back to him like later on. I can Uh, see that movie setting up Young Avengers more than any other movie. Where the same way Iron Man in a bar was talking to Bruce Banner. Mm -hmm. I think we could get a version of that where maybe they're at an ice cream place. The same franchise of where Ant-Man works. And maybe the new Falcon is meeting up with, who knows, maybe even Kate Bishop. But just a two younger characters meeting in a similar kind of fashion. I could see that happening. This movie, to me, will not only help set up that with an Easter egg, but will be the first hint of the new Avengers team that is, you know, eventually going to get a movie with a similar circle scene where they rotate the camera around them. And hopefully it's not only one woman this time. Wow. So the villain there, it's the leader, right? Yeah. From the Edward Norton movie. Yes, from the Edward Norton movie. The villain from that, the leader, same actors reprising his role. He is fantastic. He was in the Watchmen HBO show. I don't know if you ever watched that. I should watch it. That is one of my top. The show follows the book more honestly. And I mean, spoilers, if you haven't seen Watchmen, I don't know what you're doing in your life. There's literally squids. Uh, And just that little tidbit is everything that like sets the vibe that it feels more like Watchmen than the Watchmen movie ever did. Gotta check that out. Once I'm done with my Lord of the Rings rewatch that I'm going through right now. (laughs) So New World Order. I just want to add that I'm excited to see where they take Falcon. And by Falcon, I mean his new partner. Because in the comics, I guess he gets kidnapped and they surgically implant wings into him. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. And then Falcon rescues him. But from the end of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, he takes the wings, his old wings. He's like, oh, let me take a look at these. So I wonder what they're going to do with that. I don't think they're going to be real wings that he gets, but I think he'll have maybe those wings. Yeah. surgically put into him we'll see how dark it goes with that but, or maybe he does it by choice because he thinks it's the right thing to do and turns out whoever did it is kind of evil well, it'd be sick to see what they do with that and give him a falcon partner so yeah and he would be a great young avengers we got one more trailer there was the guardians of the galaxy holiday teaser it's got potential it's got potential to be fun it's gonna um, be a cute little little adventure i have a feeling you already like it more than she hulk it's gonna be better Okay. It's Groot. He has like a little head and he's like muscly now. Yeah, it's I hilarious. I didn't know what to do with that design. Young adult phase. Someone broke up with him because he's going to the gym a lot. Yeah, yeah, he's swole. I like it. Yeah. I think it's going to be funny. Every Guardians movie has been probably my favorite team up. So, not to ruin it for you though, because I have a little theory. You know how like the Guardians of the Galaxy were in Thor? Yeah. So, I think it's going to be similar. I think it's going to be a little Peter Quill in the beginning, a little Groot here and there and the movie's going to like 90 percent follow the shenanigans of drax and mantis trying to kidnap kevin bacon which is fun i like it but i don't think we're getting much of peter quill because he's too famous for us now because he's the voice of mario the absolutely horrendous voice of mario it's a me chris Pratt. yeah same way he said i'm star lord it's i'm mario yeah, it's really not doing for me. I wish him the best of luck with that one. I think it'll be a cute movie. Won't be much of that you're getting. Maybe a tease to something in the future. But I think the big movie, it's Guardians of the Galaxy when that comes out. And you are going to get a death of someone. And just speaking not sure of that, who it's gonna be. let's segue with Guardians 3. Are you using death as a segue? 
No, no, I was using James Gunn oh. directing. Oh, as a segue. okay, okay. Yeah, sorry. James Gunn is taking over the DCU, and they're actually rebranding it as the DCU rather than the DCEU, and Henry Cavill apparently is back as Superman, as seen in, spoiler, the end of Black Adam, but he's stated in a video of himself, he's going to be doing more as Superman. And with James Gunn taking over, it's not a reboot. He's going to do a rebirth like DC did with the comics. And yeah, he's going to just take what was good and make the best of it. The same way he did with Suicide Squad, possibly. I mean, that movie is fantastic. So just this alone has tremendous possibility to give us a lot. How can I say this nicely? To give us a lot of DC movies that are worth watching. I miss this news completely. Other than the okay. fact that Henry Cavill was going to become... Was so gonna I'm get telling to you Superman. first. The James Gunn thing? Yeah. So yeah. let me add to that. He's already made a change. So this was supposed to be a Green Lantern HBO series. It was supposed to kind of be like all the white ones. He scrapped all of that. It's focusing on Jon Stewart now. What? That's his first change. So already it's like, especially for us, right? For millennials, already. Like, he hits our humor, and he just gave us our favorite Green Lantern. Jon Stewart's the best Green Lantern. Absolutely. But so, I do hope we get Guy Gardner. I want him. I just, like, as, like, a side character. Like all I like want Jon Stewart to beat the shit out of him. Well, whatever. I don't care what they do. I just feel like they need to use him. Like, on the side, like, he's all angry. Oh, I think like, they should. However you do it. I want that to the extent where he becomes a Red Lantern. Yes. Like, I want to push him to Red Lantern. I want to yeah. see Red Lanterns yeah. on the big screen. 100%. Yeah, they are I'm, such a cool lantern. I'm so excited for all of that. Just James Gunn. Just the first announcement, I'm like, okay, no, this is what they needed. And I don't need them to reboot everything. Like, that's fine. Yeah. Just move forward with it. Yeah, you so, just yeah. made me need to buy first appearance of the Red Lanterns. Mm, that's probably a good one. I do have Kyle Rayner's first appearance, which mm. I just sent for Signature. So I'm hoping he shows up as well. This is exciting. This is like big news. Right. DC Comics is now going to be a bigger thing. Bumps them up instantly when it comes to film. I mean, look, yeah. MCU's backpedaling. They made Armor Wars into a movie now. So that's yeah. not nothing. So let's see what we get. I wonder why. That was weird to me. I guess they had so much to put in that one. I think the opposite. They, they didn't have didn't. enough to make it a show. That's the new thing now. I've said this before, and I'll kind of say it in a shorter version. A movie ticket's 15 bucks. Three months to watch one season of one show and be on top of it or one-time shot in the movie. Now, if you don't have enough to keep someone entertained, where they might flake off, you make it a movie, and you get that big bang, you, they're not getting their money back. It's hard to really capture, but I think it's just a simple marketing thing. Obviously, yeah. there's more to it, but I think it's a simple marketing thing. Definitely. I'll go with your theory on that one. And then Marvel World of Heroes, that's by the Pokemon Go creators. Is there any info on that, or is that also rumor? Yeah, it wasn't much other than the fact that you're going to walk around the park and you can fight people with powers. Like, one was, like, Doctor Strange powers. Nothing is going to be as successful as Pokemon. No. And at the end of the day, your phone, you're going to have to choose which game. It's going to be one or the other. Harry Potter World didn't do well. So. I didn't even know that came out. And that's why the collecting side of Pokemon makes it fun. Marvel Snap. You mentioned that last time. I'm not doing it. I want you to try it. An ad came up for it the other day, and I was like, no, this is exactly what I don't want. It's a card game. It's stupid. I would say the only thing that's really fun about it is kind of like, there's a little bit of a gambling aspect and a little bit of a prediction aspect. Like, it has a light poker vibe. You're no. like, all right. I need to stay away from gambling. Are they going to put it over there? Are they going to put the card over there? Are they going to put a big card over there? Are they going to put it over here and get the plus two? You kind of got to predict a little bit. That's what is keeping me playing. That and the fact that Hearthstone changed the way you earn gold, and it's no longer free to play, no matter what anyone says, it's not free to play anymore. You cannot earn cards by just playing. Like, you need to spend money. So I think that's the only reason why I'm like, fuck that game, I'm gonna try a different card game. Mm, you'll have to get Midnight Suns when it comes up. Play it all by myself, I guess. Yeah. One last thing, this is a comic event that I just saw a cover for. They're doing a little bit of an Iron Man versus Ironheart. Which is a little soon in my opinion, but the cover, I don't remember what artist did it, it's cool. The two suits look so great. And like, they're different hues of red. So this is an and, event that's coming out? Yeah, it's gonna be an event. I don't know if it's like a summer event or something. It'll be like a mini and it'll tie into all the Iron Man related books. And comparing it to Armor Wars, which sounds cool. Yeah, comic books, since we're on there. You check out Briar, did you read that yet? I believe you just brought it to me today. I did, I did. I did bring it to you. I think I also brought along a lot of variants that you may have picked up. I mean, if you want to spoil it a little bit real quick. So I actually just read it today. It's 
basically a what if type sleeping beauty Mm -hmm. if she was never woken up by her prince hundreds of years pass by and she finally wakes up the king the queen her parents are gone prince Mm -hmm. is gone and she needs to like fend in this almost apocalyptic world okay that's kind of cool yeah so it's very interesting her narrator is dead too like the person that was narrating her story and you get that in like cinderella and she mentions like now that my narrator's gone that's funny i have to find my own it's cool it's a really cool story i'm excited to see where the second one goes have you been following X-Men shit? Yes. Avengers Eternal shit? Yeah, but, yeah. but not... I haven't been following it either. I have like four or five of them that I still need to read. Yeah, X-Men Red ties in a lot apparently, so I'm missing story because of that because I was only doing a more. I hate X-Men. when they do that. I hate when you have to like tie in all these other books in order to follow. Just pick one yeah. or two. Not every X title. I know. Even my Iron Fist title started kind of following that i mean they all do it it's all for sales i get that i but know in the same sentence i like, didn't pick it up though i was like yeah, i don't even want it like i just want to follow the iron fist story i don't care now iron fist is being judged i was like stop like well yeah everyone's getting judged that's as far as i know i need to read more of it though that's for sure yeah it's kind of cool all right so panelist podcast i guess panelist podcast panelist podcast Hey everyone, thanks for listening to another episode of Panloids Podcast. I hope you made it through the whole episode and made it through the outro credits. We've gotten a few complaints on how loud and abrupt the jingle is. Now, I have a recommendation for you guys. For all of you that follow us on TikTok, you know that I, Kyle, have a lot of graded comics. And I try to display them on TikTok. And by doing so, I need something to hold up the comic because I have to hold the phone and talk. Anyway, you need a stand. You need a stand for your graded comics. And what other stand to buy than the stand I just received? So compact and so sturdy that I 100% put a Panaloid stamp of approval. And that stand can be purchased at onthewallarts.etsy.com. That's onthewallarts.etsy.com. And that is arts with two S's at the end, not one, unlike their TikTok, which has one S, which is also on the wall arts. So make sure you follow them there or go over to their Instagram, which is living for cosplay, living number four cosplay. They post all of their stands as well as a bunch of other cool stuff. Now for the stand that I received, it was a custom job for Panelites Podcast, of course. Super cool. Check out the TikTok I just made. Not the greatest TikTok, but you get the idea. I'll make a few more and try and show the stand off better. It is a fantastic stand. It is absolutely the best stand for graded content. There's nothing I have seen so far that is as solid and looks as good. One last time, it is onthewallarts.etsy.com. Go purchase, go follow, make sure you tell them Panelite sent you.